can it be easier? Would yeah. you say? Do, do you think that you could feel even easier, you know, because she's doing it very well and she's not missing? You know, because you feel that, right? All the back and forth. You know, one of the things that we do with this opening, it's going in two different directions. What do you think might help? When you go back and forth like that, what's, what's the element that can help organize it, make it feel more organized? Grouping. OK. Do you know a little bit about grouping? Which direction to think actively? Okay. We have two possibilities, right? One is to think. In other words, the rotation, the walking arm, is going in both directions, right? Motions are eternal. I have to go from here to here and to go back. Da, 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 right, I have to go left and right. It's like a trill. It's a single rotation. Left, right, left, right, with a distance. Okay, but we have to group it into one active direction, and the other one falling back automatically because the motions have been worked in. So the question is: Should it be actively one to five, or should it be actively five to one? Five to one. Why is that? You think this way? You know, I would give it, it could be that it's because you say it's in, the five is in one place and that it has, and that could, be, that could be a reason, whereas the thumb is changing. Usually, what happens is that if you just go to the top, it doesn't seem to fall back quickly enough, as it does when we think, them. You know, going five to one. I would like you to think, you know, this is a trial and error. You have two possibilities, either one five or five one. So I would do five one seems to be the winner here. It makes it much easier. Okay, try it. It goes against the beat. How's that, Aya? How's that? Good. 